All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the podcast slash vlog. Um, as always, I'm your host, Fletch, from All Things Overlanding. And on today's episode, we've got something a little special. Um, actually, we'll be talking to a gentleman named Lee Odom, who started a website called overlandmeetup.com. Um, I found it maybe a couple months ago. Lee, does that sound right? A couple months ago, maybe? Yep. That's it. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, it's probably been two or three months. Okay. But it's a super cool forum style website, uh, great content, a lot of good content creators on there, a cool feature like groups and you can share maps and there's all kinds of cool stuff on there. And I'm a big fan of forums. So after I found it, started talking to Lee, um, found out he was a super cool guy. He's got a lot of guns, obviously, which is cool. Um, so I wanted to have him on the show, just kind of talk to him and have him tell us a little bit about the website. And he's also got some other projects he's working on. So we'll talk about those a little bit. So welcome Lee. Hey, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. I got to tell you, <clears throat> sorry, first, first thing is this. Okay. I got to be honest. Every time I hear your name and it's Fletch or I say Fletch, I think that you're going to come out in some like superhero costume. So that would be weird. That's a yeah. suggestion. You're going to have to get a cape because I, mean, I, I think it's just life or something, you know, <laughs> you might be into that. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, every time I say it's Fletch and I'm like, oh, superhero. <laughs> cape i gotta it's get like, it so anyway it's like my screen name i guess i don't know i mean it that's my dad was always fletch he was an athletic director at the school that i went to and then yeah. i was fletch. my brother was fletch so it was very confusing for a long time <laughs> too funny so, um yeah. yeah so uh yeah thanks for having me on man I, I appreciate it it's been really fun i have to tell you for the last few months just being able to have some dialogue with you back and forth and 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 you you've taught me a lot about <clears throat> so many things like you know youtube and and your podcast and um amazon who knew yeah so, anyway I, pre I appreciate that so yeah. thanks for having me on no problem yeah i'm excited to have you um so let's start with the website right so overland meetup tell me you know tell us you know i know about it but uh, maybe a lot of people watching don't so tell us about it tell us about the website feel free to you know at any point whenever you want you can pull it up and share your screen and we can look at it or, you know, whatever you want to do. This is obviously I'm a professional, right? There you go. Hey, I, I never miss an episode, man. So, I mean, hey, I appreciate at least it. I, really I, I, love it. I, I always watch your, your stuff. So um, yeah, thanks. So Overland meetup was, well, let's just start off by saying I don't sleep much. And okay. if I do, it's not very long, Yeah. <laughs> but so I have a lot of projects and a lot of things that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to accomplish, but yeah. Overland meetup really came about because <clears throat> I wanted a place that for one, I didn't have to pay. Yeah. Okay. And two, yeah. my, um, my content belonged to me and yeah. other people's content. It was their content. In other words, you know, a place where, it's not being sold or, you know, you, you have all these other things that intermingle. I just wanted to build a site that had everything to do with overlanding and exploring and the outdoors. And that's it. I didn't want it, you know, littered with everything else. Yeah. That's cool. So I set out and, and, and started on it. So I'll give you a little preview of it. Uh, we'll cool. look at it here real quick and, and we'll be on the, home home page hopefully you can see that okay so anyway this this is basically the, this is the home page and this is where you know the everything starts to to happen so you can view the the whole website in its entirety without being a member you just can't participate sure. and so we'll go through and i'll show you a few things real quick fletch so Cool. Again, this is the latest part of the uh, of of uh, the threads or whatever you want to call it from the community, and in this, you know, I don't know if you can you see my mouse okay? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Good. So this would be where you just do your status updates. Now, I don't always like to use the reference Facebook, but let's just be honest, that's what everybody goes to, and right. I still use Facebook. I I won't ever get rid of Facebook, but I I just needed a place where it was just more. I, I could put everything together in one spot yeah. and not have to, you know, bounce all over the place. So anyway, so here's a place where you can, you know, you can uh, update your status, you yeah. know, you can uh, do photos, videos, uh, audio stuff. 
Uh, you can take polls, you can ask friends, you can, you know, do the emojis or whatever you call them, you know, to, if you like something. So yeah. you can put all that in there. And then as you see, you can scroll down and, uh, you know, you can like a comment or, or, or a photo or, or however it is. Hey, I know that guy. He is that guy. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So, you know, you can add that, you know, so it just goes on and on. And, and obviously you can, you know, like you have your own group. So I'll show you that in a minute. You can go to your own group, but then on the sides, what we have is, you know, you have your friends list, you have, you know, this is all your content. So, you know, these are all the things that pertain to you that you can go through and look at. So if you have a classified ad, you go right here and you can see your ad. If you've ordered from the store in there, you can do that. So th there's just a, a slew of things and I'm not done either, yeah. but, um, so anyway, these little widgets on the side will give you some, some information, you know, just random business listings and so forth. So we'll go back up to the top here. So in the community, I won't go to each one of these pages, but we'll just go over them real quick because I don't yeah. want to, you know, take too long, but this is basically the page you're looking at now. Mm -hmm. This will be your classified. So anything that anybody wants to buy, sell, trade, stick in the classifieds yeah. these are your groups just like it says these are groups you everybody can go in there and create a group and then invite people into it and then from there you as the group owner can moderate everything you can um you know you can invite other people you can you know i mean it's just you know it's like facebook yeah so, it's like a little mini facebook right <laughs> yeah now this is a thing called locations and yeah. there's a little controversy about locations and <laughs> we could say that for a whole nother <laughs> episode if you want, but this is where you can share locations with other people. And so basically if there's a, if there's a spot and you feel like you want to share it, that say, Hey, this is a neat place. And it doesn't have to be a camp camping spot. Sure. It could actually be like a historical marker on a trail. Yeah. You know, something just whatever. I mean, I got one I'm fixing to upload. It's a, a place down in, uh, Southeast Oklahoma that when you go into this town, there's like a little, I mean, it's, there's no stop signs or anything. It's just a small town, but oh, wow. lo and behold, there's a pull off like picnic area. Huh? And by God, they got wifi there in the town. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. And, and I know I was like, what the heck? Anyway. So, you know, I thought, Hey, I'll put that on there. So yeah. that's what that's for. Now routes is the same kind of thing. Routes is where you can go in there and you can dump your routes, trails, whatever it is you want. Yep. And then other people can download those. And, and when you up, when you upload those, the cool thing is that you can add video. Uh, yeah. You know, you can put a little paragraph in there or you can do uh, photos or whatever. So, and then other people can download those and use them like in their guide GPS or whatever. That's cool. Yeah. And so this is just your members list. And then this is our uh, newly launched. This is one of my other projects called Overland Radio or Radio Overland whichever one you want to call it because i own both of the websites <laughs> of course you do. but this this was my first or i think the first broadcast streaming internet radio devoted to nothing but overlanding that's cool yeah. and so right now it's it's streaming music and as you can see right now it's playing um i don't know if i hit this will it will it Maybe. record it i mean what's what's the worst that happens I say, I don't want to play much because I don't want you to, you know, get in trouble. But anyway, so. <laughs> Good thinking. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah. So it, it, you know, there's your music and there's a few, you know, commercial spots and one thing or another. So we're slowly bringing on um, people to do talk shows, uh, weekly shows. I've been, I've been trying to get this guy named Fletch to uh, maybe we jump in and one, do a weekly we? show, but. Um, you just keep playing that one over and over again. I know. <laughs> Eventually, somebody's going to email me and go, dude, this is, you're wearing it. <laughs> Get rid of this guy, Fletch. He's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, uh, so anyway, uh, then there's the podcast channel. So I have yours and, and of course, Michael's from all over Overland. Mm -hmm. Both of y'all's podcasts are on there. And we can add other people's. I mean, I just, I'm waiting for suggestions. Sure. Um, same with the YouTube channels. Yeah. And then this is a little recipe, you know, play. So yeah, then we have cool. our huh and so that's cool i i'm just starting to get to the point where like i actually care about cooking when i go on yeah. trips like i've always just been like hot dogs and you know <laughs> like lunchables ramen noodles <laughs> yeah but it's terrible right like now i know that I watch, man i'm obsessed know. with those videos on youtube like those asmr like 
woods cooking videos have you seen those no you have to look up like look up asmr camp cooking on oh youtube my, that's probably dangerous last it, weekend it, we, we we were at the moore expo last weekend uh-huh, yeah and and i took a i'd had a whole uh, this is like one of those squirrel moments where you just <laughs> run off and but anyway i had a whole kansas city strip that i aged for like 100 days oh my god and then i cut these big like seriously like inch thick you know steaks out of them and i had all these fresh veggies and so when i got up there i took that and i cut it up into strips and i made these fajita tacos with fresh bell peppers and onions and i mean all this stuff and there's some people from up up in uh, michigan uh cindy her name's cindy pope cindy anyway pope. she's yeah. in, I know her. went crazy yeah i bet i mean <laughs> it was, so anyway yeah, that's so great. this is our events uh we have a business directory where you can list your business and um and put it on the map so there's plenty in there the marketplace now the marketplace is kind of cool because i've built this to be much like um Etsy and I don't know if recording if it's gonna hmm, I'm gonna break it. There we go. So it's I built this to be a lot like Etsy, but only for overlanding. And so this is where you know if a guy has a small niche like he builds knives or he's yeah. has something for overlanding, but he doesn't have a big website, he yeah. can go put it on there, or or businesses can and they can sell on here. Just basically, it's just like Etsy. That's um, cool. Yeah, you got my buddy Chad Boyd on there, Overland Attic. <laughs> yeah yeah he just jumped on the other day and at the show he came over and was like hey i set up my and i'm like yeah hurry up and get some stuff in there <laughs> yeah yeah he's a good dude he's a good dude yeah um so anyway that's you know that's that's one of them but we, we have several brands um i'll show you here a little bit um yeah, we kind we, of like touched on this and i was like oh my god he has like five businesses <laughs> yeah well we have we have others too but <laughs> so i I said I don't sleep much, so I, I yeah, really don't sleep. I guess much. not. So we have the radio, and then this is the organic overland. So this is uh, back to the cooking part. Yeah, uh, this is where my wife sources um, organic and natural, either teas or seasonings or spices or or something like wow. that. And then we package them in in um, recyclable um, plastic, you know, type containers we don't do the glass because you know i don't want anybody to break it and it'd be out you know and somebody step on it. so we do the plastic you can recycle it that's cool yeah, um detox tea for some of my trips <laughs> uh yeah so i'll tell you, you might have like, too much beer some nights you can ask cindy pope about that she was yeah. on one of those trips where i might have had a couple too many beers one night. <laughs> no say it ain't so <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah, so we have all the teas and everything. I'll have to send you some of that uh, detox tea then. It sounds Jesus. like you might, might need some. <laughs> this is bad. Things are showing up in the mail, and my wife is like, why are you getting things related detox, to alcohol? Detox tea. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, I see a joke coming on, but oh, wait. Yes. Anyway, um, <laughs> so then we have our expedition traditions, and this is basically lifestyle clothing and gear, and I need to really add some more because we have some more um, – t-shirts and a few other things like stickers and um j- just there's some other stuff that's that's being added as a matter of fact when we get done i got to go in here and fire up the the um t-shirt press and printers and all and make a few more of these here because huh. i'm out yeah i was gonna say do you like are you running this through like a third party like an amazon or something where then they fulfill it mm-hmm. or are you fulfilling all this yourself no i do it. we make it all here and nice. so we we bring in the teas and spices in bulk and then we package them and label them, seal them. And then these shirts, we have, I have an artist that will do the work. And then, then from there we have, you know, sublimation printers and, um, vinyl cutters. Huh? (laughs) You are a busy guy. Yeah. And so (laughs) then we, we make the t-shirts ourselves. So anyway, and then of course you just saw the community and then lastly, and this one's not quite done, but I'll show it to you. It's almost done. Mm -hmm. And that is the Overland Trailer USA. And if you can look at this, you that's will see right here. That's way more done than it was last time that uh-huh. we talked. So that's way more done than the last time we talked. Yeah, so you got rental trailers and then trailers for sale. The object behind this is there's other rental websites for trailers, but mm-hmm. they all have the big RVs. 
And yeah. so the focus for this is strictly into the overlanding. So cool. you'll be able to, you'll be able to, you know, go through and, you know, here's what all this particular one has, and this is how oh. much it is. You can book it. It tells you the location where it's going to be, you know, like Denver, wow. um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, like here's a feature thing. So if you click on one of these, it'll tell you double insulated door with screens, you know, this is a low maintenance aluminum siding stabilizer jacks you know so you go through and do the whole nine yards so that's cool that's a really good idea because like and i've talked about this on other episodes but like i love the idea of like a trailer for overlanding because like i'd love to just have the tent and have the awning and have everything so i could set up a base camp but my big problem for me is i don't have a place to store it. like that's literally the only reason i don't have a trailer is because i don't have a place to store it but if I knew that I was going to go on one trip this year that was like a week long and I was going to go X number of miles away, like that might be worth it to pay some money to just rent a trailer and have a base camp, you know, that I can just use for that trip and then walk away from it, you know? Oh, absolutely. And and the idea is I think a lot of us, you know, myself included, uh, there's times that, you know, the trailer's just sitting here and I'm thinking, yeah. why not let yeah. it go out and make a little money? I mean, you right. know, it's got insurance. So, yeah. so we're, we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're almost done with it. We have a little bit more. We have a few of the, you know, legality parts of it. Yeah. Really, that's all it is. So, but you know, and a gist, that's pretty much all other than my gun business, but nobody wants to hear about that. So. <laughs> I mean, I bet a bunch of people do. If, if you want to hear about the gun business, comment down below and I can hook you up with Lee. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. I, I love that trailer idea, man. I'm, I remember we talked about it last time and I was kind of like, okay, that seems like a good idea, but now it looks like it's like built. It looks like it's mostly there. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, seriously, it's, I think we're down to a few contracts and a, just a little, uh, I have one part for the supplemental insurance. Cause obviously, you know, if you own a trailer, it's insured. Right. Um, but, um, Not there needs to be supplemental. Yeah, yeah. You need to cover. So yeah. we got that and, just like I said, just a few little things left and then, then yeah. we'll really put real numbers in there. Those, a lot of that stuff is just in there. to Placeholder. Placeholder. Yeah. yeah. So cool. But yeah, it's coming, cool. it's coming. Yeah. And I think at the show this past weekend, I, I literally had mm, four or five dealers that had trailers that all said that they would be interested in putting them into a rental fleet. So yeah. I'm stoked. And so, and cool. I think one of them was actually in Indiana come to think of it. Huh? interesting i'll have to look and i'll send you a message i was gonna say yeah let me know who that is i'm curious that's well i bet was it pnp engineering is no right? it, it actually was a uh they had what do they call those things mantas or something like that as well as a crazy new looking chirpas no no don't start me lying man <laughs> i can't remember i've slept since then but only for a few hours off. They had an earth roamer with those like half million dollar giant trucks. Well, there was one in there, <laughs> but I think it was like 1.2 million. Actually. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even numbers that big. I, I can't go over a half a million. Cause I'm like, that's just, I can't even comprehend I, that. I don't have enough kidneys to sell to get it. <laughs> I have to sell my house a couple of times to get a half million dollar vehicle. Yeah. yeah no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that's funny. Well, well, cool. Yeah. Those businesses are awesome. I'm, I'm super excited about it. And I love that you have, you know, the passion for overlanding that you're like finding ways to make multiple businesses. And I like that it's like, and, and maybe touch on this a little bit more the one overlanding thing. Like when you and I talked last time, it was, you know, as everybody just saw when you were showing that screen, there's a bunch of businesses under that, but I like that it's like one website where you can find a bunch of different things related to overlanding with the idea of being that, you know, it's like a one-stop shop for, you know, clothes and swag and trailer rentals and the community and the, you know, the radio slash uh, interview shows and things like that. Like that's, that's a cool idea. The one overland thing. Yeah. So it's just one overland.com and uh, that'll take you in there and then you can, you know, go from there. Or if you end up at overlandmeetup.com, it'll still take you back. So, you know, either way, they're kind of all, you know, intertwined together. So, cool. uh, but that is the main one. And that's, kind of what I'm trying to focus it in on is that and even like the Facebook pages uh it's just it's just it ultimately is going to make it to one and that's it yeah. it'll just be one overland on Facebook and then from there you know it's you know we'll post everything that revolves around all the other ones so yeah 
That's awesome. And I'll put, for everybody watching or listening on the podcast or the vlog, I'll put links down below to all this stuff too. So you can easily go check it out. So yeah. And if for some that. reason you get in there and something's not working right, just remember I'm not quite done with all of them. So yeah, I am sure. doing a little bit of work on them. Yeah. And so every and once in a while I have to thing. take it off the server. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's the fun thing too, is like, that's what I like about Lee is like, I just messaged him on, on Overland meetup one time and was like, Hey, I'm trying to make this group, but I can't do this thing. And he was like, literally like 20 minutes later somebody's like hey i just did it for you i made it and i was like that's that's really cool like you don't get that on overland bound or you know what i mean like it's just it's neat hey and you don't have to pay for this one either right i don't need a really expensive badge or anything hint, hint, wink wink <laughs> nudge nudge nudge, nudge. <laughs> i love everyone everyone does their own thing but yeah you know, i'm cheap yeah so. I, I just, I built it with the, with the, the thought process that I would keep advertising down to a minimum yeah. and I'd only take a few and that was just enough to cover the, basically the cost of hosting the site. Right. That That's way, cool. when you got on there, you didn't have a bunch of, you know, stuff to scroll through or get through or, you know, and, and if you decide you want to leave the site, you literally go to your account. And you download all your data, all your information to your computer and delete your account. And it's no longer on our server. That's cool. Yeah. yeah I like you own it all. You into it. Yeah. That's super cool. So next question. All right. Lay it on me. From that stuff. What, tell us about your rig. Like what do you take on trips? <laughs> so um, funny story. Well, this, is a bit, this could last all night, but basically <laughs> we have a, a, one of the new Opus uh, trailers, the, Australian deals that you know they infl it, it self inflates or you know yeah, um, they're badass <laughs> and and my wife actually was the one that found it not me nice. so she you know she was like if we're gonna camp I think I'd like to have this well it was a great compromise because it, when it's deployed out it's big yeah but when it's you know packed up it's relatively a small footprint now it's about as wide as your car but it's right. the the height of it is down you know uh fairly low okay yeah and it pulls like a dream so that's what we camp with it's you know got everything in it heating and air the whole nine yards but nice. um and then we were pulling it with my wife a, a new volkswagen atlas okay SUV. that's cool and um and it did, I mean, it just did a phenomenal job. I got to tell you, it was like, I couldn't believe it pulled so well. That's interesting. Well, my wife got tired of me going out and trashing her car. <laughs> you know, I'm like, hey, I, I've got a center diff lock. Let's try it out. And, you know, in the mud and then there's this. And yeah. so, so finally we went out and bought a new, uh, in November, I bought a new 2020 Forerunner. Nice. And, uh drove it this is so terrible to say but i drove it off a lot with eight miles on it yeah and just this past weekend i broke 2000 so do the math and you'll see it's not gone anywhere yeah <laughs> i've had so much going on that you yeah. know, i just haven't gone anywhere but yeah. so we pull it with the forerunner now and uh quite frankly the forerunner is a turd and the volkswagen actually out pulls the forerunner that's funny. and that's the honest to god's truth yeah <laughs> i can't yeah. i mean i just there's you, a guy you wouldn't imagine it i'm gonna have to look up his channel because there is a guy i'll look up his channel and i'll post it in the description below but there is a guy who i subscribed to and commented on a couple of his videos and he subscribed to me and commented on a couple of mine but he full-time like not full-time but he overlands an atlas and like that's i feel like that's kind of part of the name of his channel or something it's like overland atlas or something like that but again i'll look it up and i'll put it in the description below but this guy like he uses an atlas for overlanding period and he goes on trips all the time. He must be out West because he's always in like deserts by big rocks and stuff, but he yeah. swears by that thing and talks about, I'm just like, man, that's an expensive truck to be potentially bashing on rocks, but it seems to do really well. And he takes some really cool trips in it. So oh, we, when we first got it, we took a trip up into the Blue Ridge mountains and, and, and North Carolina and all, and got into a, freaking toad strangler of a storm up there and and then of course you know the gps it took us and we were like i'm pretty sure this is not the road we're supposed to be on because yeah. we ended up doing some like minor water crossings and i mean even all the little sensors on the front of it were like you know the uh <laughs> braking thing we had to turn everything off because it was like slamming on the brakes as we were going uh, down into the water and all and my wife's like oh well i guess we're gonna break it in right you know yeah. <laughs> but Your anyway, wife's it, 
it does a great job. But I, I was, I have to admit, I was pretty disappointed in the forerunner. I really yeah. was. Hey, I well, I'm a Nissan guy, so I can just step away from that and just say I have no comment, right? But I well, mean, I you know, like forerunners, they're just man, they're just so they hold their value so well. It's it's ludicrous to me the prices on those things. Yeah, and and it it is, and I that's one of the reasons I ended up with a new one because I looked at a couple of used ones yeah. and I was like, I might as well just buy new. Yeah, I mean, it's only like I think a, there was a couple of 19s that were used that were they were only like a couple thousand dollars less than what I paid for a new one, and I'm like, holy but Jesus, what? So, so we yeah. did. So that's my rig. That's what we pull it with. Um, it it's not built, but it will be hopefully soon. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd like to snatch that. Can do a lot. I'd like to snatch that four cell or four liter uh, V6 out of it, put a diesel in it, but yeah. obviously that's another thirty two thousand dollars that I don't have. Jeez. So yeah, that seems like a, a bit of an expensive modification. Yeah, there. Well, there's a guy in Texas that puts you a brand new Prado engine in it, diesel, you know, and and it it hooks up. So, I mean, but I can't gonna, afford that, so I'm just gonna live with it. <laughs> if you're gonna keep it for like the next thirty years, it might be worth it. Yeah, nah. I don't, I'm half tempted, although my wife's already put the kibosh on that, but I was like, man, I think I want something else. <laughs> you just gotten like a, like a 2010, uh, exterior or four or uh, frontier. You could have got it for like 10 grand. I should have bought my daughters. She had one and, there you go. and really it was just, it, you know, it had 300,000 miles on it, but Jeez. It, and it was still running fine That's and then she ended up selling it and now looking back i kind of wished i'd have just bought it and just repowered it because yeah. i mean it, the rest of it was still solid yeah. even the engine really for all intents purposes was yeah. still in pretty good shape it, yeah. it burned a little oil but you, you know you know when those was an xterra or frontier xterra okay i yeah. mean there's a bunch of guys that vk56 swapped those and put the 5.6 liter out of the titan in them and like yeah. put all the Titan underrunning stuff under it to give it a wider track and beefier suspension and stuff. And it's, I mean, maybe five to seven grand. You could have taken wow. that track and like put a, you know, 380 ish, 360, 380 ish horsepower V8 in that thing and hell and yeah. Track and yeah. Rip the rear end out of it. Yeah. <laughs> put it, make it all a Titan underneath with an Xterra body on top, basically. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I will ever go that route. There's a, there's a couple guys that have done it and that is, oh man you watch those guys drive those things and they just sound like monsters but oh yeah i think if mine ever dies i will probably just take all the stuff out of it and then my real goal would be to buy like a early two, 2010s like 2010 through 2013 uh infinity qx80 slash qx56 which has the titan underpinnings all in it anyways yeah because like i know you can't go down as tight of trails but like i mostly just take trips you know like i like all the challenging stuff too um but like in the four years that i've owned my xterra i've maybe been on a challenging trail like four times yeah so it's just hard to find in the midwest there's just nothing it's flat there's nothing cool here you, so you got to come down here and, and and wheel with us in the ozarks man holy yeah yeah that's i do it so are you gonna go to rendezvous in the ozarks this year oh yeah I, that's on my radar. I'm planning to do that. We'll be there it. probably set up again as a vendor. Cause we repped for Opus last year. And, and nice. although I did help Opus get a new dealer, that dealer may come down. So I may just work with him. If not, I got another little business venture I'm starting into that. Sure. I may be there with that one. So we'll nice. see. yeah, I, I hope that? you do though. September, you... September, October, October. Yeah, it's the week after East. So I'm probably yeah. going to do East and then shag back this way as fast as I can to get to the rendezvous. How far apart are those two, Overland um, East and that? A week. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, time-wise, yeah. How, like, distance-wise, how far apart are they? Oh, 900, 1,200 miles or oh, something. Oh, so it's a ways. Yeah. I was going to say, like, because I – my goal was to get to East and Ozark – or Rendezvous in the Ozarks. Those were my two that I was like, man, I really want to go to those this year. That Rendezvous in the Ozarks, for anybody that's listening, I'm I'm telling you, that thing was a blast. And it's yeah. it's only, like, in its third year, and they've already outgrown the second place that they've been in. I mean, it's all within the same property, but they keep, you know, in different sections. Yeah. Next year, they're going to have to move it up to the biggest part of it. But this place huh. is cool. It's right on the mulberry. There's two grass runways, and there'll be planes flying in and out. And <laughs> and uh, they got all kind of trails. And, I mean, they have them for everybody. 
beginner, yeah. intermediate, hard. So that's what I've heard. That's yeah, that seems really cool. Like that's that's about the only way I'm going to hit any real trails, right? <laughs> it's I want to use a winch. I want to use my winch for real. I want to use it not just to move trees out of the way and stuff. I want to like use it. It's you, you come down and go into the Ozark National Forest and, and yeah. you'll fall in love. And most people do. It's funny. Is I see people all the time. They're like, who knew yeah. that Arkansas well, had this? But they do. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Yeah, it's that's uh, Chad Boyd's Overland Attic stomping grounds. Like, Yeah, he's up, in, he's up in, uh, yeah, he lives in Missouri right on the border. And then yeah. He, yeah, he runs. And that's where we go. When we leave Oklahoma, huh. we go yeah. straight to Arkansas. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah. It's a little ways away from me, but... I mean, if I could get like a week in a row, like if I could get a straight week in those are national forest, man, that would be worth it. Do it. Heartbeat. You'll yeah. never regret it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Well, I'll, I'll definitely keep you in the loop for sure. Yeah. I'm excited. I'll meet you. I'll meet you. I'll make sure I meet you there. Even if it's not for the rendezvous, if you come down, I'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah. We could just do like a, like a meetup somewhere in convoy or go. I, on a camping trip. They're doing one weekend down there right now. And there's like 10, guys come 10 different rigs from kansas are coming huh. and there's about 10 from arkansas and missouri that are coming down there all and all they're doing is they're setting up a base camp and then they're just riding the trails that's cool and yeah. just families that sounds awesome yeah, yeah. all right cool well then I'll, I'll put that on my radar and start planning see that's i've like i've said a million times like that's half the fun right just thinking about the trip and where you're gonna go and what you're gonna do so oh yeah and bring the kids because i'm telling you the place is packed i mean last year we put up a port or they put up a a portable um movie theater outside by the really? fire so after we had all the you know raffles and giveaways you know they set up this big screen out inflatable That's movie cool. screen and all the kids gathered around and they have kids area where they you know do games for them so yeah bring the kids and, cool. you know it's 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 a blast yeah cool well, i'm planning on it so i'll talk to you about it <laughs> you bet um so cool so to kind of wrap it up because i don't want to take up your whole night here but like you know, tell me about, you mentioned the, what is it, Blue Ridge Mountains? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. So like what overlanding trips have you taken? Like what's your favorite and why, you know, where, where have you been? What have you done? Um, my heart belongs probably in the Smoky Mountains and the Blue Ridge Mountains, to be honest with you. And that's probably my favorite place. And so I, I, I just, I love being up there. Uh, but I can't take anything away from, you know, Southeast Oklahoma and, and the Ozark National Forest and, and the Washitas and that kind of stuff. It's just beautiful. Huh. So I spend most of my time there. Uh, when we do go, um, I do have a trip to um, Salt Lake City. Okay. So we're going to, I'm taking my five-year-old out to see my oldest daughter. And That's on the way, we're going to stop in Moab. We're going to do Arches and Canyonland both. Nice. And uh, so we'll spend about a week to 10 days doing that, you know, going out there and staying there. And then on the way back, I'm thinking we're going to drop down into Arizona and... Sweet maybe come back through in the parts of New Mexico and hit some of the, um, I can't even think of the name of the mountains now, but anyway, hit some of the, you know, New Mexico and, and Arizona. Awesome. And, uh, it'd probably be about a two week round trip, but it'll just be my, my five-year-old and I. That's cool. Are you going to tow the trailer for that? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah bring the opus. That makes sense. Yeah. Now, see, you guys are so lucky. I'm like, I'm telling you, like, like I mentioned to you earlier when we were talking, like I'm going to go on a two day trip this weekend to the Hoosier National Forest, which is where I always go because it's the only thing that's within, you know, 10 hours of me here. Um, but it's like all gravel roads, <laughs> just like fire roads that are pretty well maintained, actually. Have and you thought about going up into the, the uh, peninsula up in Michigan and up in yeah. LA? I, so I could. So, but here's the thing is like a weekend trip, it gets really dicey. So I, I did a couple of years ago, we did a January trip. Yeah. UP. Well, it wasn't quite the UP. It was like the Manistee area. Manistee right. National Forest. Um, and it was awesome. Like it was a lot of fun. There were some cool iced over water crossings we did. There's just beautiful trails. There was a bunch of snow on the ground. So that was really fun. Um, but like even to that, even just to Manistee, which is like the middle of Michigan, that's like eight hours from me. So it's like oh, crap. for a weekend yeah. trip. I mean, I'd have to leave in the morning on Friday to get there by dinner time or dark, you know, on Friday yeah. night have Saturday and then leave sat Sunday morning and drive all day to get home. So you just got to tell your boss at once a quarter, you're going to have to take about four or five days. Yeah. And you just got to shag on out of town yeah. forget everything else. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, it's funny. I mentioned that to him the other day and I was like, he's like, as long as you put it on your calendar, I don't care. He's like, you just tell me, just give me enough warning and make sure I'm prepared for while you're gone. And I was like, what? all right, <laughs> what are you waiting on? Come down to the Ozarks. I've only been at this company though for two months. <laughs> 
Well, so apparently, like, apparently it work, it's working out in your favor. So yeah. come on down to the Ozarks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's why I'm like trying to like time it with big trips, like, like yeah. you know, rendezvous in the Ozarks. Cause I'm like, all right, that's my best chance to hit a lot of people. The best chance to meet a bunch of people. It's organized. I can like show my boss a website and be like, look, this isn't just me. Like just not working. It's like a thing I'm going to. So it was funny. I, I jokingly told him the other day, I said, someday my channel might be really big and I might be famous. And he goes, listen, he goes, I started this business because someday I want to be rich. He goes, if you get the yacht first, just invite me to come hang out on it. I don't care. <laughs> I like the way he thinks. He's awesome. Yeah. That's, my job right now is, is awesome. I waited. I've been working with this guy as a vendor of mine at like three different companies I worked at for like the last five years, probably. And then when I left my last job, then I, I waited three months. Like I left my last job and then I just didn't have a job for three months because I was waiting for him to get funding so he could hire me. So but See, I, I, I just found the right woman that's got a really good job. So I get to work at home. That's nice. That's, I could tell my wife, what are you doing? Like, yeah. you're, this is not how but, it's supposed to work. I'm supposed but she, to rem she reminds me frequently <laughs> I'm sure. that she's the sugar mama. But I'm okay with that. So yeah, yeah. I think it, yeah, I'm okay with that. Not really. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's yeah. every time I give my wife a hard time, I just get in trouble. So yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> that's too funny. Well, cool. <laughs> well, all right. Well, I mean, that's about all the questions I have. I mean, do you have anything else you want to cover? Or anything else you want to push <laughs> or talk about? No, nah, man. I've enjoyed this. This is a Me little too. bit out of the ordinary for you. <laughs> yeah, and I think that. It was really, I mean, it was fun. I hope that your yeah. folks that are listening and watching, I hope they enjoy it. That, yeah. I mean, it's a little, sure you know, it's not scripted and that kind of stuff. So I, yeah. I, I had a good time. So I, I hope everybody else enjoys it too. And this was a little bit different. So I'm glad. Good. Yeah, me too. I had a great time. Um, thank you, Lee, for being on the show. Everybody, like I said, you know, check out Overland Meetup. Check out One Overland. I'll put links down below. Um, I'll put links to Michael Hyden's all over Overland too. He's a good guy. He stole my name almost. He's a, he's a great guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but when I saw his, his name of his channel, I was like, wait a second. I'm all things Overlanding. He can't be all over Overlanding. It's too similar, you know. <laughs> but he is a good guy. He makes great videos and good podcasts. And he's all about the podcasting, man. He, I think while you guys were at uh, more. Uh, what call it? more, he made like six of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does, uh, he does them real like – he takes that, you know, that Zoom thing and he's yeah. walking around with that in his phone or whatever he's doing. But, yeah. you know, he, he's got a gift and he's, I don't have a gift for what you do and what he does. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I'm the guy in the background that kind of tries to, you know, pull it all together, but yeah. I don't have a face for TV or a voice for radio. <laughs> so I don't know about that way. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. he's Somebody, you know, liked you. Enough to well, she's blind and was drunk, I think, at the same time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, she can never listen to this now. Never. She's Don't probably outside the office listening to it right now. <laughs> oh, man. If you don't hear from me tomorrow, you probably need to find somebody <laughs> to check on me because I might be in trouble. Oh, well, on that note, we just got Lee killed. So never mind checking out his websites or anything. They're all going down. See? She's got access. He has access to firearms. <laughs> she's got We're access. in trouble. <laughs> well great well that's a good way to end this so after talking about murder you know yeah. so thank you everybody for listening thanks for checking out the podcast and the the episodes on the vlog like i said though check out the links below for sure check out lee's stuff it's really cool and thanks again lee for being on the show thanks for having me buddy take it easy yeah you too